The man accused of taking cell phone video inside a women's restroom at a local restaurant faces a year in prison and another three months in prison on other criminal surveillance charges. Patrick Heron was sentenced this week. News 5's Allison Spann spoke with the mother of his youngest victim to see if she believes that justice has been served. Can you imagine sending your child to the restroom only to have her come back and tell you that there's a man standing over her stall with a cell phone? That's what one mother experienced at San Miguel Mexican restaurant back in September. We spoke to her shortly after the incident. When I saw a grown man came out, mama, <laughs> that mama bear just, I went into full defense mode and stood in front of him and I said, empty your cell phone or empty your pockets now. What started out as a birthday celebration for her daughter turned into a nightmare. It's been seven months since the incident, but Robin says it still haunts her family today. It robbed us of that security of those private moments and those intimate moments where you take for granted that nobody is watching you, but unfortunately, some people are. Heron's one count of aggravated criminal surveillance is in the case of her now 12-year-old daughter. Mr. Heron did say that he was there to acquire the video for personal gratification, and that actually makes it aggravated criminal surveillance by law. Do you think that justice has been served in this case? I do. I feel like the punishment has, you know, fits the crime in the state of Alabama, um, but I I wish that our state laws were harsher so that the punishment could be a little bit harsher on him. Glass has worked hard to seek justice for her daughter, but now her goal is to change the laws in Alabama. She believes that people like Patrick Heron should have to register as sex offenders. For now, reporting in Mobile, Allison Spann, News 5.